Hey you guys, James here, back in our EU4 Ottoman Empire. Let's play with the MEIOU and Taxes mod. Alright, <clears throat> so, we just had a successful episode. We uh, took these three provinces, well, we completely annexed, fully annexed the uh, Sarukamanids. Sarukamanids, I think is how, whatever. <laughs> we took uh, this province, which was Philadelphia, uh, from the Romans. So the Romans are literally just down to... Constantinople. That is going to have to wait a little bit um, because when we get done with these three cores um, that we took from the Sarukaminids, we are going to go to war with the Karamanids and we are going to take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight provinces and force them to release the Inanjids uh, as a tributary. <clears throat> then we will continue working on getting these guys to be a vassal of ours we will work on coring these provinces and when that gets done we will take take on the Germayanids so that is our plan for the next probably f four episodes I think that might take um, I think by the end of this episode, we will be declaring war on the Karamanids. <clears throat> um, and yeah, so hopefully by the end of the four, those four next four episodes, we should have this done, which will, I believe it gives us, yeah, it gives us all that as claims. Um, and so that'll, that'll give us our next thing of goals to go after. Um, Bulgaria is a target uh, as, as well. They are allied with Naples, who is fairly strong. <clears throat> um, so I, I kind of want to focus in Anatolia right now. Um, uh, we could take on Athens here, uh, but like I said, this is our focus. We're going to work on completing this focus tree of consolidating Anatolia. Um, and then we'll determine where we're going to go from there. So... Let's go ahead and unpause after that explanation of our next four, five episodes. All right. Okay. Let's uh, let's get you guys back here. Making decent money. Uh, let's take a look at what our uh, land units, okay, our force limits are. So nine and nine there, seven of eight there. The dogs are going crazy downstairs, running around. So we lost the admiral here. Let's uh, let's go ahead recruit another admiral. Um, this guy is gonna go there, and that guy will go there. <coughs> uh, let's fabricate a claim here on uh, K Kaborkian. Okay, uh, I'm actually going to. Stop building spy network here, and work on continuing to improve relations here. So we're in a January tick. <clears throat> 1400. We're into a new century.
rising star. Ali Okuz has left a strong impression on everyone he has met or worked with. Oh, okay. So, um... Urban... Yeah, that's not worth it. Uh, we will go with the 5 prestige gain. Uh, let's... Yeah, we'll recall him for now. Okay, so the first one's gonna be done here. The last one of those is gonna be done in September. And I think at that point... What is the navy size here? Three? Okay, so that's... We got that. Um, they do have 8,000 soldiers now. I mean, our leader is much better than theirs, obviously. Um, because, <clears throat> yeah, we could declare war and immediately go after Onika Adi or Rhodes. Um, I think... We'll make Anika Adi the war goal. <clears throat> you know what? We're actually... They have a truce, but no. We're just... We're gonna go for it. Let's hop into tier. Uh, let's go... Let's go severe looting here. Um, we are gonna take a lot of provinces, but if we need to, we can uh, work on getting uh, some loot out of these provinces over here. Um, once I see their army moving around, uh, that will... I'm gonna... Oh, they're still at war with Rome. I forgot about that. <clears throat> so I wonder... Who is Rome allied with? Rome is allied with this, pro this country up here who has 4,000 troops. I wonder if... I wonder if they sent their troops up there. Their army up there. Oh, nope. Ooh, okay. So that is everything that they have. We're going to finish the siege, and then we're going to go confront them. Because we have the leader advantage, and I believe this is our... Sultan. Isn't it? No. No, it's not. It is... Wait, yeah, it is. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> God, I should have my heir leading these armies. He's got the better shock value. Yeah, so we'll do that, and then we'll head over there uh, once we finish this siege. just happened? Oh. That finished. Okay. Come on. Let's finish this. There we go. Alright. Switch. Um, he has the battlefield medic trait, which is good, but we are going to go here. <clears throat> Let's get them headed back across. This is going to be a tough battle, but I think we will win it fairly easily. Um, yeah. I figured we might lose some troops, some, uh, decent manpower in it, but, okay, shock damage received, reduced morale damage taken by reserves. Ooh, that's, that's nice. Okay, let's let them reinforce a little bit, um, and then we are just gonna move in here, uh, let's actually, yeah, we'll let them reinforce for a month, um, <clears throat> We do need to get over here. Uh, but the big thing I want to do right now is... You know what? I could start up a mercenary army and have them work on sieging. Depending on how expensive they will be. We'll, we'll take a look at that here after January.
so recruit mercenaries. Oh, we can't recruit mercenaries. Okay, never mind then. Um, let's get another month's worth here. <clears throat> And then we will, oop, actually they're running to where I need to go anyway, so we will run back over here. Because they're going to come, yep, and siege that down. Ooh, they have a decent leader there now. Let's get them. siege that one down, then we'll siege Aiden, and then we'll move on to these ones. <clears throat> okay, they don't have enough soldiers there for now. Um, the Karaminids. If you haven't noticed this episode, I have kind of uh, changed how I'm pronouncing uh, the the like the nids part of these nations. Um, I I was going Germi or Germayanids or something like that. I, I changed it to like Germ Germayanids. I think is how it's supposed to be pronounced. Um, but I'm not sure. <laughs> So, we'll finish the siege, then we'll go knock these armies out. <clears throat> what would they offer us now? Okay. <sighs> Not what we want yet. Um, convert provinces. Let's go ahead and send out some missionaries. They're running already. They do have a decent army there, but we should be able to handle it. I'm hoping I can catch them. I don't think I'll be able to, though. Nope, okay. So we will... Let's go ahead, let's siege this down. <clears throat> I'm not afraid to take some war exhaustion. And it's gonna it's gonna fill up our treasury as well, so. Ooh, and the Arezkin the the Romans action the Arezkins. I don't know where I got that. Or Zinkins. They're actually being sieged down by the Romans over here, which is very interesting. I didn't think the Romans had an army left. <clears throat> There's a Roman army right there. Very interesting. The Romans are see what the heck is going on here? The Romans have taken advantage of me declaring war on the Caraminids. <coughs> we can call allies. You know what? Let's let's actually do this. Cause if they hop in and they Let's have them. Let's have them work on sieging these down. <coughs> or that one. Cool. Okay. <laughs> uh, 
we're gonna go to Yazgat next um, and get that easy uh, <clears throat> loot. <clears throat> oh gosh, sorry guys. Uh, yeah, we're gonna loot them. Because uh, right now, we don't care a lot about Revere. Uh, Aragon has become a permanent junior member. Okay. We are interested in looting. I mean, we, we, we will take our provinces that we want over here. But... <clears throat> But we are going to work on sieging. Sieging them down. The Romans. They are... What in the world is going on here? I do want to loot Caraman. Or Karaman. For sticking with how I'm trying to pronounce things. <laughs> okay. sieging down extremely fast. Holy cow. I'm interested to see if the Romans try and get a piece out of the uh, Karaminids quick. has insulted us. I think that's this one. Yeah, okay. The Romans are sieging down their capital. Those bastards. <clears throat> So, we are going to have to wait for the Romans to end the war with them. <clears throat> because they are currently occupying provinces that I want in this war. Septus are at 80%. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and grab that. Ooh, actually, you know, I should have held on to that. So we are going to need our administrative. Whoa! Holy crap. All right. Um, let's go down here to Anika Adi. Yep, their army is coming out to play now. So let's see if we can get Rhodes and Anika Adi siege down quick. 
and then we'll go deal with their ar with their army. Uh, Jandarids. Ooh, okay. <clears throat> January tick, and I'm going to end this video when this January tick gets done. We'll finish this war up in the next episode. <clears throat> so the Jindarids are going to have some problems here at home. They have 4,000 pretender rebels. I honestly should probably go take care of, because they did join the war. Occupied roads. Uh, let's Ooh, we captured a light ship. Nice. Oh no, we didn't. The Romans did. All right. Vidinian Vidinian separatists are at eighty percent. Ooh, God, we have a lot of Orthodox Zealots. We need to get this war over with. We need the Romans to, like, end this war. Alright, we're gonna catch them there. Holy cow. Let's go seize their capital. The freaking Romans always getting in my way. Ugh, the Romans. They're in my way again. I might just have to take whatever piece they give me right now. Um, let's see. Annul treaties with... Force them to release that. Cancel subjects. Yes. Return cores. Okay, well, yeah, we'll, we'll let them have that. Let's, uh, yeah. We'll take this piece for now. Uh, it means we'll have to get, uh, what is it, Marmaris and Aya Suluk and Urzin in another war, but we're going to take this for now. A marriage to secure the peace? No. Okay, I'm going to end this video, guys. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.